Hi guys, welcome back to Exhibit. Today we have Ms. Devita Saraf, who is the CEO and chairperson of the VU Group. So today we are at we are here at the launch of the VU Masterpiece, and I must say, Devita, this setup is amazing. Thank you. And after the whole pandemic and social distancing, this is my first launch that I'm actually <laughs> attending, and I'm glad you've. And impressed that you've taken care of all the. Well, Ali Bag is the place to be right now, and so we said if we have to do a launch after so many months, let's make it something that's very with it, <laughs> with the tone, the bag life. Okay. So, um, what in? I will ask you the first question. What inspired you to make this VU masterpiece? You know, um, what happened when I was building my own house? I realized that most televisions are very technically impressive in their design. You know, they have bezel-less screens, very flat but almost masculine decor. Hmm. Uh, nothing is beautiful. Nothing is like a work of art. So people are buying lovely art and they're buying lovely sculptures, furniture in their house, and the TV just looks like a black box. Yeah. So I said, why don't I make a television that's inspired by great design? and uh, come up with a TV that I want to put in my living room hmm. that whether it's turned on or turned off looks like a work of art it's got great aesthetics of course along with great picture quality and that's where the original inspiration came from and that's why the beautiful colors that you've integrated the Armani gold correct and correct all the metallic accents so um, tell us one feature that you love the most about this view master hard to choose because there's so many well aesthetically of course I love the fact that we have Armani gold which is a blend of rose gold and champagne gold, so it matches any decor. You know, it's not a very stark gold, nor is it this very cold silver. It's a very nice uh, light tone that matches with any uh, background that you put it against. So that's a feature that I like, because the whole television all across is uh, made of Armani gold. The other thing, of course, I must say is, you know, today our lives have changed so much in the lockdown, and there's this whole trend of hybrid meetings. So you don't want to just get on a flight to travel. So this television has the option to upgrade to video conferencing. So whole day you can do your work on it and then sit back, relax, maybe do gaming or a movie edit. So I like the fact that it's beauty and brains. <laughs> so uh, you recently launched Meetings by Vue. Correct. And as you mentioned, you can upgrade this to, uh, Correct. I, as I understand, to the conference style Correct. as well, right? So speaking about the features, this TV has 1000 nit of brightness and 50 watt of speakers. So how power efficient is this? Well, all our televisions are power efficient. We make sure that they use the minimum wattage when you want to use them. So the, the mindset is generally large size TVs is a big electricity bill or it's very difficult to use or they're very delicate. That's not true. These are strong, sturdy, good TVs <laughs> with, good, with uh, a good uh, sturdy build. At the same time, the power wattage usage is not more than 80 watts. Okay. And um, how do you think this masterpiece that you've created sets apart from the competition? What's your marketing strategy? You know, honestly, I think most of us who are very familiar with the VIEW brand, they know that we don't like to compete. Yeah. The only people we compete with is ourselves. You know, in so many years of over a decade of exhibit and VIEW doing so many launches and products and all together, there's always something new. And we never look at the fact that this is the new entrant or this is the existing entrant and what they're doing. They're not who inspire me. Who inspire me is my customer. And I'm always trying to outdo myself and what I can give better and bigger and nicer to my customer. So we were the first ones back in 2012, in fact, to come up with the Swarovski TV because that was a trend that time, the more crystal. Then two years ago, we came up with a 100-inch TV, which was at uh, 20 lakhs. This time we have an Armani Gold TV which is at three and a half lakhs. So what inspires me is always to outdo my own game and really not really get into the realm of uh, competing. Because at the end of the day, the relation is between me and my customer. And I want them to be viewers for life and I want them to be happy with what we launch. Right. So that has been our philosophy in all the products that we come up with. So apart from uh, televisions and um, screens, what are you more interested in producing next? You know, it's not enough that you guys always come to my launch, see something and say what's next. I think displays are the new paper. You know, the life that we're living nowadays, we're all screenagers. You know, we're all connected to the world, whether it's through work, whether it's socializing, whether it's information, it's all coming through displays. And when I started this company in 2006, that was the vision that displays the new paper. I live a paperless life, so I don't have any books, newspapers, magazines, nothing out there. Not even a chit of paper on my desk because it's a very sustainable way of living. 
So my vision is always to make products which are sustainable first of all and if displays are going to be the one that really allow us to you know make uh, information out there without cutting these beautiful trees I think we should move away from that mindset especially with the lockdown and live a life that is definitely more uh, less a carbon footprint because you're traveling a lot less with meeting by view and definitely a lesser uh, social impact negative social impact no, you know ecological impact by replacing screens and energy efficient screens than paper okay and uh, since this is a 85 inch tv what do you think is the fragility of these large size tv so some of the screens will be oleds and all are pretty thin hmm. but one thing that we realize in india is that people generally like very bright environment today like it's a lovely afternoon out here we have the televisions outdoor and you know people want also today to have tvs which are in a very well lit room so we made this with qled television and qled generally has higher brightness and as you can see from the bezel thickness it's a very sturdy tv we put it outdoor out here right next to the pool you don't have to worry about the longevity you don't have to worry that it's very delicate you don't have to worry that something like this is uh, going to crack yeah. you know essentially it won't unless there's very strong physical impact and it's a better choice than having an oled because what happens is oled gives you blacker blacks but people in india like brightness and you know we are so focused on our customers out here that even when we make high end tvs you can see it's running cricket mode and cinema mode which is something that indians love hmm. it's running hotstar prime video google play netflix youtube these are apps that indians love so whenever you buy high end products generally what people do is they just try to import the product yeah. here in this case we've made this in india for india it's a very make in india innovation for sure so we've added features that work for the content choices out here and we've made it in a way that's sturdy and strong that matches the aesthetics in india and matches the light and heat environment of this country also even in a dusty space we put this outdoors confidently and we're not worried that it's going to get spoiled in a competition between a television or a projector who do you what product do you think is going to outlast the other you know i don't even know why people talk about projectors and home theaters you know it's so passe i mean just think about it who wants to waste expensive real estate sit in a living room watch some dvd switch off the lights that's really last century i think today it's all about living a very seamless life a tv like this you have all the ott apps running you can be watching an ipl match you can be watching your favorite movie you can be watching your binge watching your latest show of uh, netflix or prime you can use it for gaming then you use it for work i'll tell you one thing that i do a lot is i put on all my workouts on my tv and i do my workout in front of it so projector does not give you that lifestyle and work style projector has this old mindset ki go to a movie theater sit eat pop eat popcorn and watch tv you know and it requires you to switch off lights here i have it next to the pool i can be taking a swim and watching tv i can watch it in day and watch it at night so definitely televisions are the future what is the biggest change in television technology that you've seen over the years i think definitely uh, there are different trends that i see you know tvs get bigger thinner smaller each time when i launched my first tv it was about this thick and we were like oh my god it's such a thin tv and now it just gets thinner and sleeker but what excites me more than just uh you know picture quality or more than just size is how the screen has become such an integral part of my life you know it's become something that i can spend especially during the lockdown like the whole day in front of if i'm working or anything i think that's what i like with the tv that the tv is my friend <laughs> my tv is a family member and i think that's the most exciting thing in tvs for me so when you think vr is going to hit you know a television and when are you what are your plans of integrating vr So you know VR generally is uh, used more for a lot of individual viewing a television is something that is more for group viewing or individual i would say that maybe the kind of content that they make and the screens that they make may take you into wider depths there's also this trend which i think is super cool where if you're watching a movie you can choose the ending you can choose how the movie goes so it's a more interactive content that you will be working which virtual reality of course offers you But uh, yeah, let's see. Whenever it comes, and I'm sure we would be the first one to have it. I'm sure too. So, guys, this was Devita Saraf, and uh, this is the masterpiece that she's created. It's incredibly beautiful, as you can see it. I'm totally in love with it. 
So tell us in the comment section below how did you like this product and your first impressions about this TV. Mine is it's a super hit and it's a masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, thanks guys.